What is going on guys? I thank each and every one of you for joining me and today I want to show you sort of a strange little design uh, incorporated into the Shimano Nasky. and if you look underneath the rotor you see the anti-reverse clutch and its seal and if you look here what you're looking at there is the anti-reverse clutch roller that is what rotates and when the handle goes backwards it binds up and on the Shimano their super stopper anti-reverse mechanism there are a bunch and what's very interesting about this seal is there is no grease on the inside kind of like their dual lipped seal found in some of their higher end reels and it's just fully exposed and you can see there's that core protect coating that left that little white scratch behind that's almost like a, a Rain-X type coating. Almost looks like dried glue. You gotta be careful. If you touch it, it's gonna come off and the water's just not gonna beat up. It doesn't affect the sealing properties. And in this case, there is no real sealing that goes on in the reel. And you can see I turn the handle and you can definitely see those cylinders that are underneath that seal. And this, this is in the FK, this is in a couple other Shimano reels. Once you get up to the Saragossa and the Spheros, it is a true seal. But why even put it in here if it's not going to offer any waterproofing, especially since they put seals elsewhere in the reel. Now for 100 bucks, I, there's nothing wrong with not having a seal at the anti-reverse clutch because there are very few reels that actually do that. Uh, you're looking at the, the Fuego LT. You can see that black rubber seal here on the side and on this side as well. So there are some perimeter seals here. And you have a Tsunami Shield. You have the Fuego LT are the only reels that kind of offer that kind of level of sealing uh, at the $99 price point. But why they opted not to incorporate this seal here and this is the same on the Stratic FK as well. It just doesn't make any contact with anything. So there's no sealing at all whatsoever. It's just so if water, I guess, gets up, there's a ramp that it can't really get up over, and then it beads up and rolls off. So you tell me, guys. It's kind of a strange um, way of doing it. For the $99 price point, it's more than most reels out there, but even still, it would have been nice to see it actually being an effective seal versus just a... Uh, <laughs> an obstruction for water. All right, guys, that's enough. That's all I wanted to share with you. I'm going to be doing a maintenance tutorial on this reel very shortly, and be sure to check it out. In addition to that, I do have the multiple reel simultaneous teardown and comparison reviewing this reel, the BG, the Socro SW, the Ben Battle 2, the Tsunami Shield, and I had to throw the new Daiwa Fuego LT into the mix because it really is very similar in respect to the Nasky. It has a size limited offering up to a size 4000, which is comparable to the Shimano 5000. It has a composite frame and has a bunch of seals and it's a fishing reel and it's $99. So it has to be in that review. So if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, become a part of the conversation. I'm just some schlub with one variation of a mass produced item. So my experiences may differ from yours and I wanna hear your experiences. And once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Tight lines and I will see you soon. Thank you.